the Supreme Court judge said that an amendment of Article 140, Section 2 of the Constitution will provide the court with more time to hear presidential petitions synonymous to neighboring Uganda and Ghana. He admitted that Kenyans will have more readily internalized and embraced the judgment of the presidential petition and the Supreme Court judges read reasons of their ruling in an open court. Personally, as Justice Muhammad Ibrahim, I do accept that we should have read the judgment. It was it would have been better for us. Kenyans would have understood us better. And, uh, and, and uh, after saying that we should have written the judgment separately, even if we are unanimous. Justice Ibrahim reiterated that strict constitutional deadlines informed their move resulting in editorial errors. Though the typographical and grammatical errors did not interfere with the substance of the ruling, timelines to hear presidential petition should be amended from 14 days to between 45 and 65 days. He, however, reiterated that they were unanimous in their decision after burning the midnight oil, saying the Constitution provides that the Supreme Court had to give a ruling within the strict timeline of 14 days, which explains why the full judgment was delivered afterwards.